uh, from Palestine mm -hmm. a few days ago, and you can just see this big burn scar of a fire that had occurred the same day. Yeah. In, you see I them mean, everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, those patches are literally everywhere, folks. So please be careful because it's hot and it's been dry for most of us today. You can see those high temperatures were in the triple digits for the majority of the area. Some upper 90s in deep east Texas. We had a little more activity and humidity down there today with a few clouds and some showers, but we're not quite done with the rain tonight. We have seen these showers impressively stick around for parts of Marion County that is near Caddo Lake and moving down to the south, but those showers are quickly weakening as expected. 80s for our northern counties. Dangerfield's at 83. It's 84 in Pittsburgh. We move a little further to the south. You're going to find more 80s and 90s. It's 87 in troops. Still 89 in Tyler. It's 87 on the southeast side of the city there where we have seen a little bit of rain. Nacogdoches is at 79. It's 80 in Appleby and then further to the southeast, more 70s and 80s where we had more clouds earlier today. High pressure continues to build over the Four Corners region, but it is not as strong as it's consistently been over the last few weeks, which is opening up the door for shower and thunderstorm chances tomorrow. Wednesday and then as we head into Thursday as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at future cast again. A lot of the high resolution model data has been very inconsistent with how heavy the precipitation is going to be and the quantity of it. But I can tell you right now, most of the models that I have seen are consistently bringing rain into the region. The uh, discrepancies come with how much rain we're actually going to see, but I'll give you a good idea of that here. This is nine o'clock tomorrow morning, still a few showers, and then we do start to see perhaps a little more rain, especially across our central and northern counties by tomorrow afternoon. And then as we head into your Wednesday, similar situation, we really start to get that heat going after seven o'clock. We see an area of showers and storms move through, and that could be followed by multiple more rounds, not only for Wednesday, but as we head into Thursday as well. So fingers crossed, keep on praying for that rain folks because we really need to see it and it does look like we're going to get it through early Thursday. How much rain are we talking about? Again, you know, I have seen predictions from several inches all the way to not very much at all to a few hundreds of an inch of rain, but I do anticipate that we will have the potential through Thursday to pick up perhaps an inch of rainfall, but most of us not going to see that much. I do think, you know, anywhere from maybe a quarter up to a half inch. That's probably a safe bet for what we're going to see over the next three days. But tonight, Still have that rain chance mentioned in the forecast since we're not 100% done with it. We're at about 78 degrees. The main rain chance will be in our northeastern counties and then about a 40% coverage of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow we will hit 96 degrees, so significantly cooler than what we saw today with those triple digits I showed you at the beginning of the weather cast. But over your next seven days, some scattered storms through Thursday, but we do dry out Friday, upper 90s Saturday and Sunday, and Monday will be at 101. Just looking at this deep east Texas seven day forecast I can almost guarantee you that you will see rain before Friday. It's just a matter of how much at this point. Neil Casey Carson.